Hey everyone, it's Sunday. I 100% again forgot to vlog last night. I just did so much reading and then I was like, oh, I'll do it before I go to bed. And hi, Watson. And then I passed it. So, hi, welcome to a new vlog. Pretend this is Saturday. Um, I got a buttload of reading done yesterday, actually, especially considering I worked for eight and a half hours. Um, stop it. Um, let me go find my books. So I read um, another 80 pages or so on An Echo in the Bone, and I got to page 154, which is the start of chapter 17. So um, I'm hoping to try and like knock out 50 pages a day or so, um, and when I'm reading other books, and then when I finish a book, like put a good, like, finish that day finishing that because I really want to finish that soon so I can start Les Mis because Les Mis is a beast size as well. Um, and then, what else did I read? Oh, I started reading Song of the Dead by Sarah Glenn Marsh last night, and I'm on chapter 12 now. So it's about a third of the way in, and I'm really liking it so far. And I also got another bit of chunk of reading done on Descendant of the Crane. I got to chapter 11, I think. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, chapter 11 chapter 11 page 125 so i'm hoping i have to go to work from 11 to 7 today um so i'm hoping um i will come home and finish song of the dead whatever i don't get done now um and then depending on what time it is because i took tomorrow off of work on monday um hopefully if i have enough time i'll read a couple more chapters on an echo in the bone and then tomorrow i have doctor's appointments and whatever but um i want to take some time in the afternoon to sit down and read finish Descendant of the Crane. That would be great. I'm really, really enjoying that, and I want to get that done so that I can pick up Wicked Saints next um, as my arc. So, that is the plan. Um, I will touch base again because this is Saturday um, when I get home later from work um, and or before I pass out and, yeah. Also, before I forget, because I already forgot it when I tried to film, like, two videos already, I'm doing a giveaway saying thank you for um, a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I mean, I know only, like, a hundred or so actually watch videos, but, like, still, that's really cool that people were like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll subscribe. Um, so, it's on my Instagram, Sassanac Book Wizard. Um... It's, I'm going to pick the winners on March 16th. It's open international. You can go the, to the post on my Instagram. It says, like, it's a giveaway time. Um, I'm giving away a copy of Dark of the West by Joanne Hathaway and a copy of Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian. I kind of weirdly ended up with two of those books, and there were ones that I was really excited and anticipating coming out, so figured they're brand new. They're unused, and I have my own copy, and so this is a good chance to spread the love maybe to someone who couldn't afford to pick it up. So... Um, all you have to do is tag two people on the Instagram post and subscribe on YouTube. So, um, that's it. So head over to Instagram if you want to enter that. And, um, yeah, that's been my Saturday. Hi everyone. So it's technically still Sunday. Um, last few minutes of it. Um, but I finished Song of the Dead tonight after work. I made it push through all my tiredness and whatever. So I think my plan for tomorrow is to keep working a little bit more on Echo and the Bone. Try and get like at least a hundred pages-ish done. Um, if I can, or just in general, 100 is like ideal, but like just getting them done. Um, and then I want to, uh, once I have a chance after I do my appointments and everything tomorrow running around, when I come back and I, my goal is to get as close to finishing Descendant of the Crane as I can. And then I will start Wicked Saints because I'm so excited for that book. Um, and then Tuesday, I think then I'm going to start Warrior of the Wild. I'm so excited for that one. I hope it's really good. And yeah, that's been my day. Hi everyone, it's um, Monday evening. I got, um, it took me a while, but I got, um, actually my hair is up, but I got my hair done, clipped a little bit, but, um, and then I went to the doctor's today and did a bunch of running around. Um, I read up to page 199 in Echo in the Bone, so I got another, like, 50-ish pages done on that, which I'm happy with, and then I powered through the last half of Descendant of the Crane, and oh my god, like, I'm, like, I'll obviously review, but, like, this, I'm a blown away by how good this book is. For a debut book, the main character is, like, strong, independent woman, don't need no man, and, like, ruling a kingdom, and, like, just chaos, and she's smart, and an ambitious, and I freaking loved it, and, and just this whole, mer like, it's just so freaking good. Like, I'm just just pre-order it just do yourself she also has really nice pre-order swag she has this like rose gold bookmark i think 
Um, and like, oh, just like do yourself a favor and be ready to buy it. It's so freaking good. Like, it's it doesn't make sense logically. This is a debut book. It shouldn't be this good, but it is. It is, and I definitely need the sequel. But I, oh yeah, I really need a sequel. Like, really, really need to see where this goes. Oh my god. And the cover. I'm trash for the cover, too. And, like, just all of it. Just, yeah, it all. All here for it. And, yeah, that's been my day. So I finished that. I'm going to start Warrior of the Wild tomorrow. And also going to start working on The Wicked Saints. Uh, I think I can do a little bit of that after work tomorrow, too. So, yeah, that's the game plan. And I will see you all later. Hi, everyone. So it is um, Tuesday evening i this morning where did i put my book Oops. Down here. um this morning i started and finished warrior of the wild no by trisha Ledham seller i also decided to like reorganize part of my living room and apparently didn't think something through because something just fell um I'll just put this back in here if i can get it come on you can do it you can stay Ah, it can. Okay. Take that. Finish that. Put that back there. Okay. Um, and I got my pre-order swag um, for the Gilded Wolves, finally. That came in. So there's character kind of tarot cards. So there's this one. Oops. This one. Oops. This one. Ooh! Oh my god. Don't fall. This one, Oops. and this one. I can't for the life of me remember any of the characters' names at this point. It was a good book, but I just have read multiple books since. But um, yes, yeah, so this is going to go on the shelf with my Gilded Wolves finished copy and my Gilded Wolves arc. So that goes there. Um, and then, ha! Huh, I was at work today. And the woman who works in our ordering department came over and was like, hey, I got some arcs in from one publisher that we're asking because we're trying to, you know, find out more about YA because, yeah. And um, do you want to, like, take a look at some of them? And I was like, yeah, obviously, of course. I figured it was, like, a smaller publisher's, like, some maybe, like, Scholastics or whatever. But no, I went over and this was on her desk. So it's not in my possession, at least for the time being. Um, Wild Savage Stars or Christina Perez is the sequel to Sweet Black Waves so excited um she had the author has the tesla legacy coming out um this month actually um under her other pen name kk perez but this it comes out in august and i have other books arcs that i need to read that come out before but like i really want to read this so i may sneak it into my april tbr maybe maybe not but probably um and then i also picked up the arc of the traitor's kingdom by aaron Beatty. i haven't read traitor's rune Ruin, which is book two. I read book one. I've been looking for book two, and I looked all over a bunch of indigo stores in, like, cities, small towns, whatever, and then they changed online the status to no longer carried in store, which is weird, because it's, like, a pretty new book. It came out in 2018. Um, so I'm gonna pick up the audiobook, and then, or maybe I'll pick up a book, the copy from the library, one or the other, and read that, and then I can read, um, Therese King, I think... That's it for today. Um, I have like an hour or two before I have to go to bed, so I forgot that Shadowhunters came back for its final season, second half of the final season or whatever. Um, and the show is high key terrible, and the acting is not great, and the plot is just all over the place in terms. Of, it's like it's not even remotely close to the books anymore. But like, I feel like I should just finish it because I started it. So yeah. So I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch a couple episodes of however far behind I am. And then pass out. And I like how my living room is now set up. It's like a longish, like narrow space, like living room in the kitchen. So it's been kind of hard because I have sectional couches and all my bookshelves. And I want to have the bookshelves on the side because of the sun. And also want to be able to access the one of three windows in my apartment. So it's been a hassle. But I think I found a good, good layout, I think. Yeah? yeah? What do you think? You don't look impressed, actually. You okay? You okay? You don't look impressed. Hi. But then... And then there's a light on in that weird light space. It's not like a UFO or anything. And then the books. So, we'll see how that goes. And, um... Yeah. 
I will, I have no idea what I'm going to pick up. It's a little late to start um, the Wicked Saints. Because um, I was like, well, I might as well just finish Warrior of the Wild tonight. Like it's, like I'm almost done it. It's not a long book. Um, so I finished Warrior of the Wild. And I'm kind of thinking I want to pick up Someday We Will Fly or the Dead Queen's Club. No, I haven't read a contemporary in a while. We'll do Dead Queen's Club, I think, in the morning. I'll pick that up and listen, start listening to the audiobook while getting ready to work for work. And then keep working my way through that during... Um, after work and yeah that's the game plan for now hi everyone it's um wednesday evening i am just about to go pass out but i started and finished someday we will fly by rachel dewowskin this morning or today uh, i started it this morning just finished it now um and um i think i originally was like i think it's middle grade i think this is more like a ya straddling but low ya almost middle grade the main character is like 15 for um a good chunk of it um but uh yeah it i definitely say it's um middle grade ya but you know lower end of middle grade um but yeah so i finished that and tomorrow we're doing a group watch of the hunger games the tbr and beyond group and i have not watched the movie in forever so i'm actually really high key excited about that um and so i'm not going to start anything new tomorrow i'm going to keep working on an echo in the bone a little bit um you know before and um after the movie um and then i have to figure out what i'll do on friday um um, probably do the Dead Queen's Club. Start that on Friday. Yeah, probably. That's, that's the plan for now, anyways. Um, yeah, that's all I did today. Hi, everyone. It's Thursday. Real quick drop-in. Um, didn't have anything new come in the mail today, but we did a group watch of The Hunger Games and the TBR and Beyond group. And I forgot, like, actually how much I enjoyed that movie. Um, but I also got a fair amount of reading done today. So on an echo in the bone, I got to page 254, which is the start of chapter 25. So I got another 55 pages done on this today. And then I started Wicked Saints by Emily Duncan, which is exactly what I wanted to get done today. And I am putting the bookmark in at the end of chapter five. So the start of chapter six is page 57. It's so good so far. Like, like it's only 56 pages in and like, it's really good. Like, yeah, it's real good. It's that and Descent to the Crane. I've been like really impressed already with both those, and they're both debut works. Like, how can you impress? So, I'm really excited to see where the heck it's gonna go. It starts off with a bang, to say the least. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I think instead, yeah, because tomorrow's Friday. Instead of starting anything new tomorrow, I'm gonna keep working on these two and see how much more I can get done on them. Um, I would love to get halfway in at least on Wicked Saints. Um, just depends how tired I am tomorrow. Um, and then I work this weekend. So, um, hopefully I can get, can probably do the same thing on Saturday and Sunday, but Friday, Saturday, Sundays, just keep working on an echo in the bone and Wicked Saints. And then on Monday I'll start fresh, um, probably with, um, the Dead Queens Club, probably. That'll be probably where I go. So that has been my Thursday and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. All right, it is Friday. It's another quick drop-in. Um, I'm going to keep working on the Echo in the Bone tonight. That is my plan. Um, this morning I got a little bit more done, so I got to oops, come on, um, chapter 30, which is page 284. So I would love if I get to, like, page 300, 350, somewhere in that realm. Um, I think I can do it tonight. So that will be my goal. Nothing came in the mail. Um... Yeah, I just work the ungodly 6.30 a.m. morning shift tomorrow, so that'll be fun. But I will see you all on Sunday with the weekly wrap-up.